This is a quick look at how photography has developed. Photography is hinged on the discovery that if you poke a hole in the wall of a dark room, you create camera obscura. Light passing through the hole is projected upside down and retains color and perspective. The first historical mentions of camera obscura in pinhole photography are by ancient philosophers Mousy, Aristotle, and Alhazen. In 1490, Leonardo da Vinci records detailed descriptions of camera obscura and uses it to trace stuff. By the 1700s, camera obscura devices are common, and there is evidence to suggest artists like Rembrandt, Vermeer, and Caravaggio use them. Hmm, sketchy. In 1724, Johann Heinrich Schulze discovers that substances mixed with silver nitrate react to light. Sadly, the images fade soon after. Until, one day in 1826, the world's first photograph is taken by Joseph Nietzsche for Nietzsche in France using a procedure called heliography. Voila! This exposure takes several days, and you can see the sun lights up both sides of the building. After his death, Nietzsche's partner Louis Daguerre continues his work and creates the first practical photographic process in 1833, the daguerreotype. In 1839, the French government buys and declares the daguerreotype free to the world. This is when cool stuff starts happening. Like the first photo of a human, although this exposure lasted around seven minutes, a man was getting his shoes polished and was standing perfectly still, thus making history. This was also the first photo with soul. And of course, the world's first selfie is taken by a guy named Robert Cornelia. In 1840, Henry Fox Talbot unveils the calotype, a process based on negatives that allows for paper copies to be made. However, Talbot tried to charge license fees for the calotype, so it didn't really catch on. Compared to Daguerre, whose name is now one of 72 names inscribed on the Eiffel Tower, Talbot spent his life fighting lawsuits and eventually gave up on photography. You could say Talbot became a bit… negative in the end. It's also important to mention the contribution of Sir John Herschel, who published many essential research papers and coined the term photography from the Greek words of light in drawing. By the 1850s, mobile photo studios were all the rage because photos had to be developed on site. Exposure times were about three minutes long, so people used neck braces and drugs to keep still. It's also why nobody smiled in early photos. What could be the world's first Photoshop occurs in 1861. The head of Abraham Lincoln is placed on a more noble body. The world's first color photograph is also produced. It's of a bow. In 1871, Richard Leach Maddox, who had an outstanding mustache, invents the gelatin dry plate. This means smaller cameras and no tripods necessary. Great success, old chap. Now, here's a cool story, bro. In order to settle the debate of whether all four of a horse's hooves ever simultaneously leave the ground, Englishman Edward Mybridge sets up 12 cameras with wire triggers in the path of a galloping horse. The world's first photo sequence proves that they do. In 1885, George Eastman, founder of Eastman Kodak, invents roll film. The first handheld camera, the Kodak, goes on sale in 1888. Why Kodak? Because Eastman just liked the letter K. The Kodak came preloaded with 100 exposures that needed to be sent back to the factory for processing and reloading when the roll was finished. Eastman takes mass market photography a step further in the early 1900s with the Brownie, an affordable box camera that introduces the concept of the snapshot. Lights employee Oscar Barnack builds the revolutionary 35mm Leica 1, which goes into production in 1925. The camera allows photographers to go mobile and capture the moment some of the most iconic images in history would later be taken on Leicas. The first single-lens reflex, SLR camera, arrives in 1949. And the first digital image is created from a scan in 1957. However, digital cameras would only arrive a little later, in 1975, when Steve Sasson, a young engineer working for Eastman Kodak, invents the first digital camera. But nobody at Kodak is interested in digital. Who wants to see their photos on a TV? Why change the profitable film photography formula? Too late. Kodak only later switches to digital in 2004 and files for bankruptcy in 2012. The digital revolution begins in the 90s. DSLRs, point and shoots. Photography had never been more accessible. Well, until the first mobile phone with a camera came out in 2000. Game changer. 15 years later, and modern smartphones now have insanely powerful cameras. In just seconds, we are able to capture every moment and share it online. 
photography has become a global passion and has truly brought the world closer together. 